Whoa, I got air. Look at this. Check out this air. Not even got a trampoline. Just pure happiness of life. <laughs> the friends I used to be 275 pounds that was my heaviest weight ever when I weighed that I started to develop massive health problems I had sleep apnea so bad I was stopping breathing seven times a night partially stopping breathing 84 times a night I had plantar fasciitis so bad in my left foot I could barely walk knee hip back joint problems all because of my weight I knew if I didn't change something that things were gonna get worse so I decided I needed to lose weight but I had tried so many things before and it all failed because nothing I tried was sustainable Whew, I'm out of breath from that airborne stuff getting air gets <sighs> you out of breath <laughs> um, so <laughs> really does. So I knew this time I had to do something that I was going to be able to stick to. Now for the cheat sheet that was tucked away in her knot pocket <laughs> in the back of her pants. Well, I have a really good title and I have to say the title because it's good. So the friends, I knew I couldn't make huge changes. So I decided to do just small things. So in this video, I'm going to share with you reading right off my cheat sheet cheat sheet <laughs> five things I did every day to lose 50 pounds in three months I had so much weight to lose once I started making these five small changes and why we focus and emphasize on the easy part is because I lost weight right alongside Nicole or tried to for years before and we made it very very difficult when we were not succeeding yes so once we did this, we had so much weight to lose, we were able to stick to these five changes. It helped us both lose 50 pounds in three months. And then we both ended up moving on to lose a total of 130 pounds each. And we've kept it off for six years. There's like some squirrel or something making some weird noises over here. They always, the, the planes, the squirrels, it always wants to get in on the filming. Hey bud, can you just, Cut it out for like 10 minutes, please. Squirtle, Thank what you. are you doing? Hello, Squirtle. Okay, anyway, the first one, portion and measure our food. So in the beginning, Kyle and I could not handle numbers. We couldn't calculate our calories or know anything about numbers of any kind because it just overwhelmed us and sent us back, set us off track. So we decided to focus on eating what we liked but measuring it out instead of using the calorie calculations. Yeah, like so many years we tried to change our whole diet, like yeah. bring in all these so-called healthy foods that we didn't actually like and we were already off track before we even started because we didn't like the food. No, or we would take away a whole food group or do a fad diet and none of it worked. So this time we said, okay, we're gonna eat what we like, but less of it. And in the beginning, we couldn't start with full portion control, portioning everything. It was too much too soon. So what we started doing was, we loved eating chips every night. We each ate one bag of chips each night, each for a snack. So we went, instead of a full bag, we measured out a, a fairly large bowl each, and when that bowl was done, we were done. That already put us in a calorie deficit because we were eating less than we were used to and we were still eating chips and enjoying what we liked so it didn't feel like we were missing out. Then, instead of eating two and three plates of dinner like we used to, we went down to one. And for breakfast or anything, we would just eat a little bit less. So instead of four slices of bacon, I would eat two. And I still ate everything I loved. I just ate a little bit less. Yeah, we realized you know? we were just unnecessarily overcomplicating things. And once we just stuck to the foods we loved, and it, it only requires eating less to lose weight. So once we started doing that simple thing, we're like, duh. 
Exactly. <laughs> you only need to be in a calorie deficit. And that doesn't mean you have to count your calories. It just means you need to eat less. Yeah. So once we started eating a bowl instead of a bag of chips and two plates of dinner instead of three, that already we were losing weight because we were eating less, but we didn't really notice. Because I thought before, I'm like, okay, I want to lose weight, but does that mean I'm never going to eat ice cream or chips again? Yeah, and that's what we thought, and we didn't want to do it. Then we realized you can eat what you like, just less of it. I remember it. we had ice cream every single night. We did. Still, when we were losing weight, we just portioned it out. We lost 50 pounds in three months eating ice cream every night. Every we night. Ate one half a cup to a cup uh, we portioned it out and still enjoyed it and usually we paired that with two cookies yep it was uh two low sugar low calorie cookies the next thing that we did cheat sheet the next thing that we did was increase our water intake in the beginning i was drinking maybe like literally this much water a day like not very much at all i mostly drank pop and i was drinking seven cans of regular dr pepper a day i switched that to diet instead of taking that away completely but i also knew i needed to add water so kyle and i both started drinking the recommended eight eight ounce glasses of water a day and not only does that help your body function properly but if you're dehydrated, your body can actually send you signals that you're hungry when actually you just need water. So when we were drinking our water and we were hydrated, we were less likely to eat more food because our body just needed the water. And, and we're less likely to overeat. You're talking to two people here who did not like water at no, all. But we, at all. we found the water flavorings helped get it down. Yeah. We drink BCAs in our water now. So there's yeah. lots of tricks that don't add calories to get in your water in. There really is. The water flavorings really did help. Same with the BCAAs. And also another trick, when you drink water with your meals, it helps fill your belly up. So you're more full longer. And again, it made us less likely to overeat. So that was a great, easy way, especially when the water flavorings taste so good. Like there's a dad's root beer one that's amazing. So it made us want to drink the water. Next, this one, I would say this one was like a lifesaver for us, prepping our meals and snacks. Kyle and I, when we didn't have meals prepped, it set us up for failure because you're going all day, you have a busy life, and you're hungry, and you don't have meals prepped, you're more likely to stop for fast food or to just grab something and eat way more than you planned. When we had meals prepped, that also meant they were portioned in containers. So we were eating portion sizes of tasty food that was already on hand. So it eliminated the excuse of not having dinner and just eating whatever you wanted. Also, that we looked forward to them. When we also had snacks prepped, we would put our name and the date on them. And that was a trick we learned because when I ate my portion snack, I would not touch the one that was labeled Kyle's for the same day. Cause you don't want to eat somebody else's food. Who's Kyle? <sighs> AKA sass. Oh me, okay. You sass. You never, you never call me by my real name ever. So I just forgot. I just sometimes call you a coddle. <laughs> So that actually was a really good trick because when Monday snack for Nicole was done, I didn't eat another one because there wasn't any more Monday snack left on yeah, Monday. If it's Monday, Nicole, you can only eat Monday Nicole snacks. It really helped. So, you know, if you struggle with that, try that tip out. Oh yeah. Especially pre prepping breakfast was huge for us because whenever we skipped breakfast, we tended to, by the end of the day, be so hungry that we would end up overeating and go way off track. It is so, the most important meal of the day. It really is for us. That really helped having the breakfast prepped. And we still do that quite often, prep our breakfast because it sets us up for success. The next one journaling at the time when we started losing weight there wasn't like any apps or anything that was readily available for you to track your food also any of those apps that tracked calories and food were pretty triggering for me at the time so the best way to keep track of my food was journaling i just use a pencil and a paper and we wrote down everything that we ate and the portions a pencil and paper you're old <laughs> uh, really old 
like a million years old. <laughs> but anyway, knowing how much food I ate allowed me to see what was working and I was really honest with it. So if I overate that day, I wrote it down because then I could go back and see, okay, why did I overeat that day? Did I skip a meal somewhere? Did I eat something I didn't like and it caused it to backfire? And then also if I weighed myself at the end of the week and I didn't lose weight, then I could look at how much I was eating and pull back just a little bit instead of pulling way too much too fast and then it backfiring and I would fall off track. So knowing what I was eating and Kyle did the same and we journaled for the first year and that really helped hold us accountable and see where we were, you know, where we were being successful and where we needed to work on it. And the last one. We get asked all the time, like, what exercise did you do in the beginning? Well, Kyle was 375 pounds and I was 275 pounds. We were so heavy and we had so many health problems, we couldn't really do much. And that's the last that the scale would read because yeah. um, I was actually bigger than that. Uh, it's just the scale wouldn't read past 375 anymore. And 275 was the last time I felt comfortable weighing myself. So we go by those numbers just because those are the last ones we know of, but we could barely move. We could barely bend down to tie our shoes. We could barely go up the stairs without being out of breath. So the only exercise we really could do was walk a little bit. So we started by moving our body every day. We made a pact with each other to do those four things I already said, and move our body as much as we could. So every day we started with five to 15 minutes. And that's all it takes. That was Guys, it. this is literally what we did. All these, I know it's not popular to simplify things and make it easier than last time, but this is what we did. And 15 minutes a day is all it takes. Not only did these five things help us lose 50 pounds in three months, it helped us lose 130 pounds each and keep it off for six years. It saved our lives. Those five simple things literally saved our lives. If you are struggling and you're feeling overwhelmed and you can't find anything that works, one small step at a time. That's what we did. Small changes led to big results for us. You don't have to go crazy. It doesn't have to be painful or torturous. Just pick one of these if you're not ready for all five. Just eat a little less or move your body as much as you can every day. Start That's with a, an extra bottle of water or whatever. And, and another trick, uh, I'll give you a bonus here before we end the video. We put a bottle of water in the bathroom every night for both of us. And when we would wake up in the morning, we would make sure that we drank the water before we left the bathroom. So we already knew we had at least one bottle of water down for the day. And that really helped us in the beginning because we really didn't want to drink water. So. Um, the friends, if you want to know exactly what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, we have two weight loss guides down below. Exact portions, exact meal plans, family friendly recipes. It's all down there. Check out the links or wait and watch these two videos. And then if you're new, you've got to lawn more out the video with me. Ready? <laughs> that was a dinosaur lawnmower. And Please don't fall through the fence. <laughs> Also, we shake our bean here, which is this one, but PG for YouTube. So let's shake our bean, shake our bean, and shake our bean, and kiss the plant. <laughs> Love you. Bye, guys. Peace out. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Bite through it. You can do it. Don't give up.